Tourtech. Technology made for adventure. I expect a sunny, sunny day on top of the mountains. <laughs> Actually, um, if it's like they have said, it will be a little bit faster than the other days. So I hope it will be a smooth, smooth special today, not as technical as yesterday and the day before, so not as hard, not as physical. More enjoyable with a big bike and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to do it and I'm looking forward to come back to the hotel to catch some sleep after the short night. <laughs> So how long did it last? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it broke off 105 kilometers before the finish. Yeah. And when it broke, did you go down to the sea and hit? Actually, I was sitting at that moment and I was hitting a big rock in the, in the shade. Yeah. I was going a bit close. I did it here, but, but there was no... I was quite fast, I have to say. Fourth gear or 
So around 100 kilometers an hour or something like that, quite fast. Yet I was thinking, should be more careful with the rocks and the next one, oh, something is missing. I looked at it. You're lucky you saved it. A lot of guys when the yeah. brakes and they just go down. I think I hit it only by one centimeter. I was very unlucky actually. So what did you do to get back? I tried to ignore it. I mean, more or less. No, you can't stand up. No, you can't stand up. Okay. I, I tried to put my foot here for the long straights. Yeah. And on the frame guard. On the frame guard, and that was more or less working. But you couldn't. I couldn't stand up. Yeah. And that wasn't so nice, especially because in this um, harder terrain, you know, the off off road parts in the mountains with, with downhills and, and ruts, and yeah. you like to stand on the bike to balance the bike and to go faster and then steer it through there. And yeah, I was looking like a, like a beginner, I guess. Trying, trying to steer a bike like this with one foot brake is like trying to drive a car that only goes to the left. We do a lot of steering with our feet and our throttle. In this situation, he's on his butt and you got to be able to use the handlebars, which is really tough under these conditions. Keep it open, go. Dirk is a, a fast, uh, a good navigator and a great bike, so <laughs> it's hard for me. <laughs> but we enjoy, we enjoy a lot uh, during the, the race, we, uh, we stay together a lot of time. Sometimes he's my backpack. <laughs> Uh, the rally is fine for this. We enjoy the first. After uh, race the time, uh, we enjoy. <laughs> okay. Verkleidung ab, Vorbau ab, die anderen Punkte am Rahmen schweißen. Auf alle Fälle, wir nehmen neuen Vorbau. Da müssen wir mit den Kunststoffteilen sehen, die sind rechts und links abgerissen. Dann müssen wir Federbein hinten gucken, Endscheidämpfer müssen wir runternehmen und wieder raufstecken, weil das alles verbogen ist. Fußrastenhalter rechts ist abgebrochen und sonst das Normale. Ja. Sonst fährt alles normal. Ja. Super. Today's stage saw you first on the ferry and then more or less 50 kilometers inland uh, to the first part of today's race, uh, was that different than what we've seen on the island up to now? Yes, it was a completely different stage than, than the first three stages and for me it was the nicest stage so far. It was a higher average, so technical, the terrain was not so technical, it was a bit more open. It suited more um, the big bikes than, than the other stages. Still it's a race for the small bikes, but today was a lot more fun with the big bike. And yeah, so it was running quite well in the beginning for me. Um, I tried to push a bit in the beginning to pick up some time on, on my main rival in my class. That worked well. I caught him after 30 kilometers and at the refueling after 45, 50 kilometers I could see that I was second fastest to the refueling. So that, that <laughs> was quite nice actually. Yeah, after refueling, um, like usual, things were happening. and. First it was going well, I, I have had a good rhythm and everything was fine, so I, was, I really enjoyed it today. And then on a fast road through the mountains, there were some, some down, fallen down um, rocks on, on the road. And I'm used to a smaller bike, I went by a little bit close to this one rock and that cut off the foot pack of my bike. Um, I was lucky enough that my foot wasn't in between and then my brake lever was a bit bent but it stayed, only the foot pack was off and that was 105 kilometers before the finish so from there to the finish was really challenging without a, the right foot pack. Physically, That's, where did you leave your right foot? <laughs> and how, are you, how yeah. are you able to stand up while riding? No, there was, that, was that? there was no chance to stand up while riding because there was only, or there is a a triangle in, in, in the frame where I could put in my foot, but then the foot was so high, like I think it looked like Valentino Rossi in, in a nice corner. So um, no way to, to stand up with these two levels of the feet. And um, that was a bit bit tough, especially it was in the rough areas where you, where you want to stand up and the bike has to work underneath you, to move underneath you. Now I was sitting there and up, 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 up and down and that was quite um, challenging. And, and to stay motivated and focused with, with all this and yeah, but it, it um, paid out. I mean, 
I finished ahead of the other guy and, and, and my, my lead now is a bit bigger and so the cushion for the last two days is bigger and I can sleep a bit more relaxed tonight. <laughs>